The religious right has successfully melted America's minds to make people believe that God outlawed abortion straight from a burning bush. But the truth might actually surprise you. I spoke with religious leaders to learn more. The Supreme Court just heard the most serious legal challenge in a generation to a person's right to obtain an abortion. The law under review, passed by Mississippi in 2018, would ban almost all abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. Why 15 weeks? Hell if I know! But the religious right, who need no more airtime so she'll herein be played by the gemstones, believe this law is righteous because God for sure, like 100%, said that abortion is a no-no. And since in college I took intro to comedy, instead of intro to religion, I invited a Catholic, a Muslim, and a Jew to a bar to talk about abortion. Let's start with a really easy question. Whose religion is right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is God opposed to abortion? There's no ban on abortion in Islam. There's no ban on abortion at any point for any reason by any method. All right, okay. In Judaism, mm -hmm. abortion is permitted and where the pregnant person's life is at stake, it's required because the health and well-being of the pregnant person comes first. Okay. Jamie. Mm -hmm. A little more complicated. <laughs> Bad news. Well, let's bear in mind that what I'm about to say is a teaching created by men who are ostensibly celibate, mm -hmm. who have no inroads or connection to the lives of women because they do not have wives, they do not have daughters. Great start. Yeah. And the Catholic Church teaches that in almost every circumstance, abortion is murder. Is it in the Bible? No. In the Christian scriptures, there is no mention of abortion. I mean, does everyone just think that these things are mentioned and we're all just like misremembering? Is it like a Berenstain Bears thing? But there are no two ways to read the Mississippi law. Its intention is to move the goalposts and make getting an abortion harder. Why? Because a small minority of religious people are basing laws that will affect my body on the idea that at conception, the fetus has a soul. And that's something that even the majors don't agree on. The Talmud says for the first 40 days, the fetus is mere water. That would be about seven to eight weeks of gestation. Yes. The Quran does say that at 120 days, the soul enters the body of the fetus. And that is roughly 17 and a half weeks. Is there anything that your respective religions say about when the soul leaves the body? Like, is it when you run for office? Or is it when <laughs> you actually win? I don't know when the soul enters or what the soul is or whether I even believe in the soul, but I did like this movie. <laughs> I'm so glad our laws are being written around this mystery riddle. Is it fair to say then that the 15 week Mississippi ban could be an infringement of your religious right? Absolutely. Yes, it could. Which is why it's offensive to apply this blanket idea of what is allowed in terms of abortion on communities like Muslims who don't actually believe that. Have any of you folks considered going to the ACLU? <laughs> <laughs> this is so messed up. The laws that some of these religious people like are infringing on the rights of these religious people. Within the Catholic Church, how many people support abortion? The majority of Catholics, 56%, think abortion should be legal in all or most cases. And 68% of Catholics do not believe Roe versus Wade should be struck down. 68%. That's a lot of Catholics. I mean, I did go to Catholic school, and I think the number was a lot higher than 68%. <laughs> exactly. According to my drinking buddies, in this pew, 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 pew study, even the majority of Catholics support Roe. So what the fresh hell is this really about? How are your versions of faith so open-minded, but then you look at Mike Pence's version and it's so gripped and dark and it just like fits like a fist in your uterus. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what I realize more and more is that fragile men project their own fragility onto God and their God is male and does not believe in women's equality. Religion has been used to justify atrocity and to maintain power for centuries. Now it is being used to hold and maintain and entrench existing power structures. Right, they're loud. And scary, like if you look at how they're willing to treat pregnant people, mm -hmm. you can tell that they're a bunch of sadistic, um, 
sorry, is is the word you're looking for? Absolutely. Got it. Abortion laws help the religious right in their quest to uphold the patriarchy. <laughs> Congrats, boys, it worked. Shoulda seen that coming. The long game that was played by the religious right is the most cynical of all games. And I do have to ask the question, do we just have to be more evil? <laughs> 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 well, I feel like mm -hmm. part of the problem is that we think about reproductive justice as a women's issue. So we have these bills all around the country around the regulation of trans bodies and denying trans people health care. And they really sort of stem from the same logic. And so I think it's actually really useful if we were building solidarity with other people. Right. We're facing all of these big cases. It feels very dire for people. How do you infuse yourself with any type of hope for a good outcome. You're laughing, you're like, I don't even. No, I smoke a lot of weed. Okay. <laughs> the religious right isn't going anywhere except further to the right. But honestly, they, like all of us, are allowed to hold whatever personal religious beliefs they want, as long as I'm not expected to abide by them. I'm sorry, the Garden of Eden is not in Missouri, and even if it is, I'm still not gonna visit. The country is supposed to be a country for atheists, for Buddhists, for Hindus, for Muslims, for every kind of Christian, for every kind of Jew. Right. And so the questions about when the soul enters the body should not be relevant, and they sh certainly should not be behind how a law is written. Yes. Yeah. Freedom of religion means freedom from religion as well. From religion. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding! The law should be atheist. And speaking of people who are free from religion. Everyone say the amount of abortions they think Donald Trump has paid for. <laughs> <laughs> I think five. That's so low. Maybe 13. It was like 76. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd like to hear more from Full Frontal, like and subscribe. If you'd like to hear some opinions from a man in a lifted truck, leave YouTube on autoplay.